I hereby introduce to you Mr. Michael Veazey. First, a word from our sponsors, Amazing FBA. Yes, folks, I am sponsoring my own show. And this one, by the way, is just for the Brits, British listeners. Quick question for you. I've personally spent over £10,000 over the last couple of decades going from pitch fest to overpriced seminar to so-called workshop. And in each case, I've come out excited. I've gone away thinking I'm going to change my life. Then the excitement's gradually fizzled out. And then I've changed nothing and I've got no more money than I started with. My question is, have you ever done the same? If so, then stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. It's just not how reality works. Now, there is one thing that all the successful Amazon sellers that I know, public or private, the famous gurus and the privately successful ones have in common. And I'm going to tell you at the end of this episode what that is. Now, if you want to have a bit of a serious clue, then go to amazonmastermind.co.uk and find out more there. Meanwhile, on with the show. So, Donna, so we've had a bit of um, tech issues. So, Donna, thanks for your, your patience and thanks for your listening for dealing with the tech issues. But trying to capture this fantastic value from Dana here. So um, I see, by the way, you've got rid of the gallon drinks can, which is, you know, it's part of your go big, go home strategy. <laughs> 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 I love I love this man. Listen, just it's a man who does everything on a big scale. Last time I, I was interviewed, then he was literally drinking out of an eight gallon kind of Texas style. Um, so yeah, Dan has been busy talking to us about how to um, basically get your customers off Amazon and upsell them, which is like the holy grail. Because if you can start doing that, you can really, really massively increase the money you make from your Amazon customers. But Amazon don't make that easy. So, Donna, let's, I'm prepared to hammer into that in, in massive depth because I think it's so valuable. So you were just saying you've got to get a fantastic offer that, as Dan Kennedy says, somebody would drive 25 miles in a snowstorm to get. So tell us more about a specific example, if you would, of, of something that would actually, you know, would be an example of an amazing offer like that. Yeah, so um, let's we'll go back to the flashlight example or or whatever you want. I, let, let's do the flashlight. Yeah, okay. okay. So let's say that we have we we position it as like a camping flashlight, right? Um, and then let's say that we want to sell either a camping chair or camping sleeping bag, something like that. So um, a percentage of the people who bought the camping flashlight are going to be in the market or could potentially use. Um, a camping chair or camping um, uh, sleeping bag. So an amazing offer, in my opinion, would be a extremely high quality um, either chair or sleeping bag at a 50% discount because everybody else is doing 5% or even 10%, right? Um, but 50% off is, is, that's kind of a big deal, um, especially if you can show like on a website, whether it's Amazon or not, that it's actually selling at that price um, that you call the retail price, um, and they're getting fifty percent off of that. To me, that would be um, like an easy, quick way to create an offer that's um, worthy of getting out of bed for. Fantastic. So let me just pull up on a couple of details. First of all, um, I love the fact that you, you know, if you're super clear about who your market is in general, like a flashlight could be used for a driver, it could be used for camping, it could be used for DIY or home repairs, right? But if you specifically focus on one type of flashlight for one type of market, then it's super clear what your upsells are. So that's one thing that I just want to pick up, a really fantastic, mm -hmm. really important that's basic good. basic principle. Now let's talk about the tactical thing. How would you, for example, say that you, your, your customers would normally pay $50 for a sleeping bag, but you're going to give it to them for 25. How would you give them that proof? If say they're on Amazon and they open your flashlight, they get it from, from Amazon, they open it at home and out pops a card saying, buy our, buy our thing for $25. Yeah. So I would, um, have, so I would give them a coupon. So they, so they hit the site, um, and, and get to the link and then it is the full price. And it's like, do, like, make sure you use this coupon um, or you'll be charged full price. Um, and uh, then that would basically unlock the 50% off or whatever the discount was. Okay. So tell us, so this is obviously a, an upsell within the Amazon space strategy. Um, tell us, so what sort of advantages and disadvantages does that have versus getting them off Amazon? And what sort of percentages do you get? What, what sort of percentage response do you get? What kind of numbers? 
So a typical offer like this, I would be pulling them from Amazon um, because even at a 50% discount, uh, I would be um, coming on ahead because number one, I don't have the Amazon fee. And then number two, um, I get a customer off of Amazon, which is valuable in itself, even if you weren't making money. Um, but as far as like percentages go, I know people are probably going to wonder, all right, so for every hundred inserts I send out, how many people should I expect to take my offer? Um, that really, I hate to say, it, but it kind of depends. Um, but uh, I mean, realistically, you're not going to see 50, 60% take rates. It just doesn't happen. So um, I'd say a range between five and 20% would be really cool. So um, the thing that get, makes this exciting, and this is something I just um, was showing to uh, one of my one of my clients, is that um, when you get this really pumping and your back end is built out really well, where you can take people off of Amazon, um, suddenly you don't have to be um, trying to make all your money on Amazon. So what I mean by that is you could actually, you know, launch a product or take an existing product and lower your prices if you wanted to and get more people coming through your door. Because let's say you had 10% um, people take you up on that offer that's on your insert inside of the package. You're going to want more people to see that offer, right? So if you lower your price, um, even to the point where, you know, you, my, what we do, a lot of like my bigger clients get, are built up to the point where um, they have like lost, it's like a lost leader for them. Um, some of their products, they don't intend to make money on it at all. They intend to get as many people and as many to your point, that was fantastic about making it niche specific. They want as many camping buyers as they possibly can to get onto their list and to come through uh, the door. So they'll just lower their price. And then the competitors like, what are you doing? Like, you're not making money. Like, how can you do that? And they're like, ha ha, like, you'll never know. Um, and uh, you can actually drive competitors out that way and um, all this other cool stuff. So Makes total sense. So there's something I pick up on there that it's really, really dangerous to copy somebody's business model from what you see of it above ground because it's like the tip of the iceberg. I mean, if, for example, somebody tries to, to copy you selling a book for for five bucks or whatever it is or for sh free plus shipping that you normally sell for two and a half thousand and they just copied that external business model, they go broke incredibly fast because what they're not seeing is the upsells, the, the email follow-ups whatever forms of engagement you've got going within social media, you know, if you've built a community of people who buy your products, you know, what, what sort of engagements are you making? What sort of offers, what webinars there's like, you know, that does, there's the tip of the iceberg thing. Right. So, and I, and I think you've just pointed out that, I mean, it's, that's kind of obvious to anyone who's worked outside the Amazon space and internet marketing. I guess that's probably not most people who are listening or watching, but that can be true for physical products on Amazon. And I think you've just pointed out something unbelievably important that, if we start just copying the externals or something, we go broke. We've got to understand a whole structure, a whole funnel, right? So I, I just wanted to flag that up because it's one of those things that's beginning to strike me more and more that it's very obvious to me that a lot of other people are doing this because their numbers just couldn't work. Even if they're Chinese, you know, you, you just figure out that the cost prices and you think, nah, they're losing money on this. So this doesn't make sense on its own. So tell us a bit more about this, this whole strategy. This obviously, I'm getting quite excited about this. I, I think this is... This says to me that this is a much more sustainable way of building a business. So tell us a bit more about this whole strategy. How would you go about doing this in, say, the camping space? Yeah, the, the, I mean, I, it's totally like I bet people are, that are watching and listening are having that same kind of aha moment where it's like, oh, man, like that product I was looking to launch, like there was no way because I'm finding manufacturers that can only sell it for this. And like, there's no way they're making money on it. And it's true. They're not, but they're making money on the other stuff. Um, so it, it's uh, yeah. So I love it. Um, so this is what I would continue. This is kind of what I, what I, sh I teach at my mastermind is um, we don't want it. Physical products businesses are cool, but some of the things people don't talk about is um, how much money they require to grow and scale them. Because every time you know you sell out of a round of inventory, what do you need? You need twice as much um, the next time. So uh, what I like to do is I like to sort of, I call it inject um, information products or um, services into the um, what I'm already selling. So it, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be your stuff either. So I'm, I'm work, working with a guy that um, he's um, sold a supplement and in reality, he wasn't really looking to make money on the supplement because the supplement was producing leads 
for him that he sold to um, a, um, a weight loss person, uh, like a person that produces or creates, um, uh, excuse me, a program for weight loss, uh, pro uh, provides a service for it, right? So there's so many different, like, things you can do and take this. So I like to inject information products, usually on the front end. So like, how to guys, how to, um, let's stay in the camping niche, how to, uh, are your top seven ways to have um, a perfect weekend camping trip with your family, right? Give it away for free. Cool. Everybody and their brother um, wants to consume it because they want to have that. And then inside of it, guess what? It's a little salesperson for the camping flashlight, right? So you throw an offer in there, really good offer for your camping flashlight. And then they buy it. And then, um, then your physical products business kind of goes to work and you can sell them the um, camping chair, the sleeping bag, uh, the tent, all that stuff, right? And then what happens though? Remember, people will always say yes. Like, like a percentage of people will never say no. Okay, so then what might be next? Well, maybe there's, um, a, um, th there's an opportunity to become an affiliate for some sort of offer that's several hundred dollars that your best buyers who have bought everything from you, you can invite them to, and then you can take a commission on that sale. So I think... Um, just bringing it back, people, when they launch these Amazon or physical products businesses, they always think, oh, my next dollar is made by launching the next product. And I got to have all these products and, and ultimately to grow a big and huge, massive thing. Yes. But it's much more important to build it out front end to back end first, build out one good front end offer that feeds this, that feeds that, that feeds that. And then once that's done, rinse and repeat. So you're building the template, I think, is, is more important than trying to go get the next product. I really, really like your thinking now. That ties in a couple of things. Um, I mean, first of all, it's, it's funny how in the information product marketing space or, or the information services space, this is standard stuff. And I've applied it myself eventually to my own um, business. I'm not, I'm, there's huge amounts more I can do. But this, this also ties in with um, talking about the numbers, the 80-20 principle, which goes way, way, way deeper than anyone could possibly think. You hasn't read an amazing book by Perry Marshall called The 80-20 for Sales and Marketing. And I've run some numbers on this recently with my own business, and um, it's incredibly accurate at predicting reality. So I had, you know, I'm, I'm selling, to be honest, very, very cheap, guys. So, you know, if you want to get in there now while it's still cheap, join up for the mastermind because I will be putting the price up. But I was selling, you know, membership for Mastermind at a beta testing price, £49. I said, okay, so according to the mass, about a quarter of those will buy something for £95. So I put an offer out and sure enough, they do. Okay, well, yeah, it's something about, you know, a certain percentage of those will buy something for £200. Okay, good. So I thought, well, you know what? I need to sell something for £400. And I thought, okay, it's a very intensive one-to-one -one work with me, you know, multiple hours per month. And sure enough, somebody bought it and it exactly follows that 80-20 curve. So the first thing I can say is from my own tiny little business here, um, that absolutely is true that a certain percentage of people will buy higher and higher and higher price points. So I cannot, but, but underline that. Um, but also want to say, I love the fact that you're not being kind of puritanical about, I've got a physical products business. I've got a information business. I've got a, you're just getting a market and then selling them whichever things they'll buy. I, I just, I, you're the first person exactly. to say that in the Amazon space, but it makes so much sense to me. Uh, yeah. It, it's, 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 it's also, I love 80, 20 because like, um, 80% of the revenues comes from 20% of your fulfillment too. So when you get these higher up offers, you're actually spending less time, energy, and money fulfilling those orders to less people, but you're making more money doing it. So that's when a business really gets exciting. Yeah. And, and again, you're totally right. I mean, for example, I've got this one guy that I do six hours a month of mentoring with, and I haven't got space for many people like that. And he's, you know, um, it doesn't cost me the overhead because I'll either work with him in a local um, restaurant, which is a nice space to work in, or I'll work um, from online from on home. And uh, he's also my most enthusiastic client. He's paying me the most money and he's the least fussy consumer. Like he, he just uh, Skyped <laughs> me yesterday. He said, the mastermind on Saturday was rocked. I'm really, really glad I came. You know, just voluntarily just, just said nice stuff. The guys that are causing me the problems are the guys who are paying me the least money and then just kind of cancel and then just decide they're not interested, right? So it's the way. So, uh, so if anybody out there is listening and they don't have these higher ticket item like offers, you're missing out on your best customers. <laughs> so the sooner you get into that, the better.
Absolutely. So Donna, um, tell us a little bit more about the contents of your amazing book, because it does sound obviously uh, I'm loving the strategies and the thinking and it's obviously highly effective stuff. Um, so tell us a bit more about what else is in the book and what sort of what problems you help solve or what dreams to realize and make reality. Sure. Um, so basically what I've put into this book and um, as Michael said before, I, I used to charge $2,500 for it per copy. And I sold a number of copies of them at the, of this book at that price. Um, and actually, uh, so inside of it, I basically show exactly how I was able, I have been able to sell um, my books, which is one thing. Um, I just kind of detail that, how I've been able to sell them for 400000 and even $2,000 or more per copy when everybody else sells them for 20 bucks. So basically, you can just take that knowledge and information, because if I can pull that off, you can pull off selling whatever it is you sell for what it's actually worth and get people to buy it like crazy. Um, so I go through the entire process of that. And um, there's been many Amazon sellers and physical product sellers, all these other um, people who have gobbled it up and been like, Oh man, this is like really good. So um, that is like fresh off of the, the press. Um, I don't even have a copy because I gave away my last one or I, I sold my last one, but um, for, for, Michael, for your audience, as um, uh, we kind of mentioned before, uh, I would like to offer them a copy um, of this book on me. Uh, so 100% free, just cover the cost of shipping, and you can get this $2,500 book in your hands. And when you do, you're going to dive in and it's going to be epic because it's going to be light bulbs going off constantly every single page. Because uh, this is the stuff I wish I would have had a decade ago when I was getting started, um, but it's better late than never. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Fantastic. And just to double check, uh, Dana, Dana, sorry, I'm trying to anglicize your name. Terrible thing to do to an American. Uh, will you be able to ship that to people in the UK uh, as well? Or are they going to need to pay a little bit extra? Or No. Nope. So UK is um, fair game. About 40% of my um, my people are in the UK. So I really love the UK. So I don't um, penalize you guys for being over there. So that <laughs> is the price for the US or UK. We rush ship it um, to you. And uh, yeah. Wow, fantastic! So that, that's good to know. It's interesting that forty percent of your uh, your clients are in the UK as well, because that's uh, quite a small percentage of the Amazon marketing community, I guess. So uh, maybe you appeal to the UK. Maybe they, they need you to guide them into the the rough waters of the American marketplace. <laughs> yeah, I guess they need the the obnoxious American opinion. <laughs> Well, I think what British people need from Americans is that kind of can-do attitude. I mean, I think there's room for lots of different voices in the Amazon space. I mean, I guess I'm the kind of reality check guy. Like some of my clients come to me and said, yeah, yeah, you, you didn't go on about being rich and, you know, you seem quite feet on the ground. But I think there's, it's very important as well to have the people like, yeah, come on, think big, do it all. I think you've got to have that balance in, in business, you know. I think it's, it, you know. It's, it's all of that stuff. So, so Dana, um, so we put, a, um, what I'm going to suggest is that we put an offer on the page. We've already got a page for the content we produced for your last interview with us. So, uh, we'll put it on amazingfba.com forward slash Dana, D A N for November A. And, uh, we'll put a link in there to your offer for your, your book, the special offer for the listeners. It's a $2,500 value book for the price of shipping, which is pretty epic. I have to say, and talking about go through 25 miles of snow to get it, that sounds pretty epic to me. <laughs> yes, and I can't, I'll be honest, I can't do it forever <laughs> because I've, it costs me more money. It costs me double what I'm charging for the shipping just to print the thing. So I'm losing quite a bit. So I don't know if we should maybe limit the number of quantity that we do this for, but um, I'm happy to do it for a little while as long as I can. <laughs> Great. Well, that makes total sense. Yeah, these things aren't sustainable for, for a longer period because of the cost to you. Um, so, Dana, what else um, have you got coming up that we need to know about? And what, what other good stuff can people find out from you about? Are you running your goat, your goat farm mastermind? I heard all the buzz about that. That looked like a lot of fun. You and your goats. Teach yes. About selling. <laughs> yep. So we had our first one um, a couple of months ago. It was unbelievable. It was like a really special event. Yeah. Um, life-changing uh so we're gonna do it again in uh in this this coming february so it's a three-day live event two days are me um working with everybody one-on-one -on -one, and then one day i fly in a bunch of guests that come in and and share all of their stuff and um it's uh very very different than most because it's only have 20 total spots 
um, because it's held here at my office in Wisconsin and uh, there are goats involved. <laughs> you get to see my goats. So um, that's, we actually just opened the doors for that. Um, had several spots already taken, haven't really um, officially launched it to it, uh, everyone yet, but um, if anybody is listening and is potentially interested um, and there are spots, I would encourage anybody to apply to it. Um, you can just go to goatfarmmastermind.com um, and uh, check out the success stories and all that good stuff. And if it's something you think you'd be interested in, go for it. Great. Well, I mean, what we'll do is we'll we'll put a, a link on your the, the page that we'll dedicate to it, Amazing FBA. And uh, just to reiterate, amazingfba.com forward slash awesome. Dana, D-A-N for November A. We'll put a link on there. And we'll call it something obvious like Goat Farm Mastermind. I, I can't think that anyone else in the world has a mastermind on their goat farm, so they're not going to confuse it with anybody else, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you <laughs> You're a truly unique man, Dana, I have to say. It's, uh, everything about you is slightly different from everything else. So that's, that's really cool. Like, I talk about differentiation. You know, it's, that's, that's really important. And having a bit of personality, I think, is, is just so vital when you're trying to differentiate yourself. I mean, like, I'm probably like the opposite. I'm like in the sea of crazy Americans. I'm the boring British person saying, no, nope, don't do that. You'll lose money. But, you know, we've all got to be different, right? So um, <laughs> <laughs> we need people like you. <laughs> So Dana, uh, it's been a real pleasure as ever. And just reminds, remains for me to say thank you very much for coming on and uh, giving us a wisdom about the whole um, sales funnel and upselling processes. Um, anyone who's interested, as I said, amazingfba.com forward slash Dana, D-A-N for November A. Uh, and you can check out the offer for Dana's uh, $2,500 book for shipping cost only or go to the Goat Farm Mastermind, or just generally read up the show notes, which we do in detail for every single episode we've ever done. So that's over 200 episodes now. And if you want to you know, follow the, the, the exact details of what Dana and I have been discussing, then check it out there. So Dana, thank you very much for coming on, brother. Great pleasure as always. Awesome. Such a pleasure. Thanks, brother. Cheers. So a word from our sponsors, Amazing FBA. Yes, I'm sponsoring my own show today. I've got a question for you. Now, I must have spent over £10,000 over the last two decades going from hyped up seminar to a pitch fest. And you know what? I came out of each one excited, determined to change my life. And then I did nothing or very little. And above all, I came out with a zero extra income, came out still broke. My question is, have you ever done that? If so, then I've got news for you. There is one secret that can really get you results that pretty much all successful Amazon sellers I know do. And if you want to know what it is, I'll tell you what it is in a minute. Or you can go to amazonmastermind.co.uk and the clue is in the title, right? So what I'm going to tell you about is only relevant to those who live in London or near London or can get to London. When I say London, I mean London, England, not Alabama or wherever it is if you're in America. If you can't get to London, then keep listening. There will be something later in the show that I can mention for you. Basically, the masterminds that I've been running have been very powerful for people, but we've revised and revamped them in response to people's needs. So they're really, really powerful now because they're focused on exactly who you are and what you need right now. So we have two levels now and we'll split them further if that proves to be necessary. The zero to hero mastermind is for those who have not yet launched on Amazon or are in the first you know, few hundred, couple of thousand pounds of sales. And that's grown like topsy over the last sort of 30 days. We've gone from nobody over the last 30, 40 days to 20 odd members. And then we have the 7K Collective, which is much smaller, only seven members. But collectively, they already have um, Amazon turnover of about seven million pounds a year. And that is probably really understating it as well. It could well be over 10 million, but I'm being conservative there. So some powerful stuff for you if you're doing over 10K. If you're not, then the Zero to Hero Collect uh, Mastermind is for you. Now, the reasons to come to this are the kind of opposites to go to those pitch fests and to go to drink from the fire hose on the internet that is Facebook groups and podcasts. And I include my own in that. Three reasons to come, folks. Clarity. Instead of the fire hose of the internet, you focus laser like on you and your business. So once a month, you're going to be in a small room with a small group of people focusing for at least half an hour on you and your business in your hot seat. Really, Powerful, very simple, very effective. Second thing you're going to get is confidence because you can check the plans that you have in your head and get them out there and bulletproof them, test them or waterproof them, make sure that they're actually doable in the real world so you can go away and act with confidence. And the third thing is connection. So it's all very well being in a Facebook group, but there's nothing like being 
face to face to actually connect to people. Plus all the people in the rest of your life, you know, wife, girlfriend, son, daughter, a mother, co-workers, they don't really get the whole Amazon thing in most cases. And in some cases they're even opposed to it. So that's a lonely business. What you need is fellow Amazon sellers in person to connect to. That's what's on offer here. Very simple, very powerful. People obviously loving it because they're going for it. So go to amazonmastermind.co.uk if you want to find out more and you can apply from there as well. It's application only because I only want the high caliber people and that's what we've got. And uh, the price is going up over time. I've now got rid of the beta testing price for both levels of groups because we've got the sort of base level of people that the thing is now going to be self-sustaining. So now I want to be ever more selective. So if you want to consider it, get moving on that quickly before the price goes up again. Amazonmastermind.co.uk. Thanks for listening.